We mean by small as like halfling size, toddler size, a small human size. They're smallish. They're you would assume adult, but of a smaller size. Gnomish? No, not that small. Can our rangers identify what type of humanoid based on the foot pattern? I mean, no. We can see where they are going. They're just there, pointed towards the wall. Hmm. There is any secret door that we can see? Here? Are they right here? Right where I put that little yellow line. I can't find it. Okay. Huh. I'll go over to them and I'll examine. Check for traps. Oh, I see now. I'll check for traps. Okay. Make your check. You find nothing? Hmm. They look like maybe a human female? Could be. We're in a range. Kind of a dainty foot. Could be a human female, could be an elf, could be a half elf, smaller stature. Uh, now, as a player, I'm not sure. Are are y'all are there female characters? Yes, there is at least one female character in the bunch right now. Lerna, you're a female character. Your character female. Yes, I am. I am. Try, try stepping here. Put your feet where the footprints are. Okay. I didn't detect any trap. It may activate okay. something. Boing. Does anything happen when I step over the feet? The feet. Okay. I mean, how are you doing this? What are you doing exactly? Uh, I'm standing over the foot traps. Yep, nothing happens. Okay. You put your feet in the footprints, right? Yep, they're footprints. Mm. Not shoe prints, but footprints. Bare footprints. Mm. You're wearing boots, aren't you? Not a hobbit, so I bet she is. I, on the other hand, am a hobbit. I'll ask her to step aside. And I'll try to step in there. Okay. Okay, Ted, you gonna step in them? Yeah, barefoot. Okay. Ted, when you do so, you find your feet stuck fast. Boots suddenly appear oh, on your you. feet. And you hear a voice. Enjoy these boots, friend. But perhaps you should say thank you before you take them. What am I? I am thank dead, you. yet I am immortal. I am a powerful wizard, yet I am not human nor elf. I burn with a horrible flame, yet my touch will chill you to the bone. So you tell me, friend, what am I? Oh. And as soon as it starts, as soon as that voice stops, the stone your feet are now adhered to starts to descend 
and after it drops like three inches, water is collecting in that pool and it's starting to go down slowly. Is he the only one that heard the voice? No, everybody heard it. Uh -huh. I say thank you. Okay. Continues to descend. Water's up to your ankles. <clears throat> uh, I think you are supposed to say Lich. Uh, thank you, Lich. <laughs> okay. So whoever came up with Lich... You may take, uh, let's say, 500 experience points for that one. Wow. Thanks. And once it stops, once that's said, the stone will begin to rise. And once it is back level on the floor, your feet are released. Okay. I step away. Did the and stay with me you realize that you are now wearing a pair of boots of Elden Kind. <laughs> Somehow that's just imprinted oh. in your mind. Oh, boots of Elden Kind. <laughs> <clears throat> bye bye, move silently, rolls. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, there's like a 98% chance of these things functioning. Yeah. And oh, you can cool. move your your full movement rate instead of half or a third or whatever. Yeah. Let me just pull it up for you. Go ahead and get you the XP too. Boots of Elven kind are way better than Move Silent. Yeah, they're, that's like one of the best kind of boots you can get. Yeah. Yeah, especially for a thief because they expand your, uh, you know, your movement. When you're sneaking around so much. Wow. that has got a new pair of boots. <laughs> it means you can backstab from way farther away now. <laughs> It really, it really helps you with the backstabs too, because you won't, you you won't blow that roll. You just have to hit now. You'll have, you'll have to get the height. You'll, you'll have to be hidden. You'll have to get surprise them, but the movement towards them won't, won't alert them. So half the, half of the day, half of the problem is, is solved for you right there. That's what happened with that drider. Yeah. anybody there and all of a sudden went silent yeah i'm just yeah, getting this quickly made for him so he's got a
more. So you should be able to look at that now and know what you have. And where, where is this? It's in the uh, journal. You should have a handout, boots of all the kind now. Ah, oh, there it is. And you may add 1,000 experience points to your total. Cool. Okay, so what's your next? Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Not surprised. Are you third now? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, what are you guys doing next? Yes, venturing forth. Checking this area out. This dead end yeah, area. It is a dead end. Yeah. You don't find anything. And you don't see anything up that corridor. That level. Where? Where? Maze out here. Like any good dungeon. Hey, I finally found a door. Which direction? Did you go up or left or down? Up. Just keep following the corridor up. Okay. Because I saw a okay. corridor oh. going down and left as well. Wait. Okay. So, Ted, when you come up to here, uh -huh. you find a pile of bones. An L and, an, and a cask. A cast? Yes. Yeah. Like for, and everybody over here needs to stop moving. <laughs> What's the pile of bones look like? Is it like human bones? Orc bones? Oh, it's it's definitely not a human or humanoid. Or a demi-human, it's more of a humanoid type of thing. It's definitely somewhat uh, goblinish, some type of maybe a goblin or a small orc. Um, the bones are somewhat separated, like the legs have been, the, the limbs have been pulled off. Oh. And are kind of chucked over in different areas. Um, and what's the cask look like? Was it like an arm cast or leg cast? Cask. Cask with a K, oh, cast. not cast with a T. I thought you said cask, um, sorry. It looks to be about a three-gallon mm -hmm. cask. Check around for uh, one end of it is punched out, and it appears to be empty. Okay. Uh, I'll examine the area there for traps. 
Okay, give me that rel. Well, you don't find any traps, but in searching, you do find a little loose stone right up there. A loose stone in the floor? Yep. Where's our wizard? I'm calling for the I wizard. I don't know. <clears throat> wizard here? Somewhere? He's not with you. You haven't uh, heard of, heard from him? Or seen him in quite a while. Anybody else know where the wizard is? Anybody else here? No, no one is with you. You're all by yourself. Oh. Okay. I'll examine that stone a little closer. Is it just a loose piece of the thing? Is it just like well, no, it looks like, like, it, it, like it has been intentionally loosened, but left tight enough that it still appears to be part of the floor. Oh, it's like yeah, you floor. found it doing your, your find, remove traps check. You were searching closely and diligently. Know. You wouldn't have, you didn't notice it. It wasn't just like, oh, that's loose, or oh, there's a crack here. It was, hmm, someone has cut this out. Hey, I'll take my uh, short sword and I'll lever that up out of there. Okay. You are able to do so. And what do I see? You see a bag. A leather bag. Laying down there underneath it in the little hole there that it's in. Okay. I don't have any wizards or anybody here, so I'm going to take my small sack pull it out of my bag. I got a little small sack. I'm going to... And it's quite heavy. Up my hand. It's heavy. Is it well, big? I mean, it's not big, but it, it definitely weighs a good pound. Okay. I'm going to take my small sack. Is it small enough to fit inside a small sack? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take... Put my hand... I'm turning the small sack inside out, putting my hand inside the inside it, reaching down and putting the, basically getting it out with a small sack without actually touching it. Okay. And then turning it over uh, so it's inside the small sack. Okay. And well, when you it... do so, you automatically know what it is because you hear the, 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 the joyous sound of coins sliding all over each other. And you've got at least a pound's worth of silver pieces here and a very nice uh, silver and emerald necklace. How did they appear? Okay. I'll, put just... the, uh, I'll put the stone back in where it was. Okay. And go looking for the rest of them. The cast you said it was empty, so it looked empty, so I'll ignore it. Okay. I'll just make sure I don't trip over any of the bones or try to avoid the skeleton as much as I can. Okay. 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 Well, what are you doing next? Looking for the rest of them. Okay. And how are you doing that? Uh, I'm going to continue down the way I was going. Okay. So, as you're coming down, you see another skeleton ahead of you. 
but this one you think is probably more human. And as you get closer, you'll see that, yeah, you're pretty sure it's a human um, because it's wearing leather armor. It's got a backpack. Oh, this is here at K? Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm going to check the area around it for traps, and I'm going to check it for okay. traps. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was just needed. I haven't leveled up the uh, skills yet, so. Okay. Give me a few extra points. You probably got about four or five more, or something like that. You do not find any traps. Okay. I'll uh, I'll examine the skeleton. So okay. I'll find he said it, it the appears to be human. Uh, yeah, he's wearing a he's got a short sword on his belt. Uh, his is it's a backpack and it's got um, some basic stuff in it. You know, it's got a bedroll, some rations. Um, uh, there's like. Oddly enough, there's like a crowbar and some other assorted tools associated with a certain trade in there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll take off the the scabbard. I'll assume the sword's in a scabbard. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll take off the scabbard without taking the sword out. I'll take the okay. backpack off, and uh, I'll put the, I think I, you can probably take the straps off and uh, strap my, it to my backpack. Okay. So uh, you'll also, off. in this, you'll see that there's a small pouch on his belt. Okay. And that one I'm just going to pick up. From the back. Okay. What's in it? And when you pick it up, it's definitely uh, a coin. There's coins inside of it. You can just feel that. I mean, and, and basically, he looks like he's been dead long enough that in a dungeon where there's probably rats, his bones have been picked clean. But like, uh, the sword, the heft of the the haft of the sword, and that stuff has a little tarnish and rust to it, but not too much. What's in the pouch? Coins. Oh. Um, Coins. Yeah, there are uh, six silver pieces. And a uh, small garnet that you would estimate to be about 125 silver pieces worth. Okay. 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 I'll continue on. Well, I don't know which way they went. Apparently they didn't go this way, did they? They may have. They may have just been running so fast they ran right past it and didn't stop to look at it. I'll look here. I see anything up there? Well, it's a bit dusty, and yeah, you do see some footprints, fresh footprints in the dust. Okay, I'll go that way. Okay. And those will they continue around that corner. They continue down the corridor.
footprints to go up. Okay. I continue on up that corridor. Zigzags a lot. <laughs> and then it continues down that corridor. Is that somebody? Yeah. I just find somebody. I think so. You know where the magic user is? I haven't seen him. I just found some equipment back there. There's a door up here. Okay. Yep, there is a door up there. Up here. I'll check the door for traps. Okay. I am you do not find any 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 uh, trap. Is it locked? No. Okay. Just open the door. Okay. Okay. So you open the door. And uh, there's room. You guys want to check it out? Sure. Is there anything moving in there? No. It's a bit musty and dusty. There is a bed. A nice looking bed. Um... It still has covers on it. Uh, it is covered with dust. There is a chair beside it. Uh, there are also a couple of nightstands beside it with a lantern on each one. Um, there's a table beside the chair. And there is a sconce on the west wall of the room. With no torch in it, just the stunts itself. You search the room. Okay. I'm searching for secret uh, doors. Okay. Anyone that's going to do so, give me a. D D six row. Okay. Anyone else? Can I put a torch in the sconce? See if that does anything. You sure, you buddy? Sure. That's what I will do. Okay, sconce slides right in, or the torch slides right in the sconce. Right. Nothing it. happens from just putting it in there. I'll take a flint and steel and go ahead and light it. Okay. I'm using a torch already. Let's see. 
Yeah, I don't think he's doing it for the light. I think he's doing it to see if it does anything. See if it triggers anything. Be careful doing that. It can trigger something you really don't want. Well, the, the torch lights up and, and nothing happens. Um... The two of you that were searching did not find any secret doors. Okay. Now, who was doing the torch? I was. Which character uh, was that? Attic. Okay. Go ahead and give me a D6 roll while you're doing that. I'm not gonna roll that good okay. Thing. So when you're doing this, it does seem like there's a little bit of give coming down with the sconce. I'll go ahead and pull the sconce down. Okay. I mean you tried to do it just with the sconce and you're not really getting anywhere, but if you get out on the torque as close as you can to the fire. You can pull down and you hear the grinding of gears, and then suddenly there's a pop, a metallic pop, somewhere behind the wall, and the sconce drops level with the floor. So the sconce is now sticking straight out from the wall with the torch still in it, about four feet off the floor. Um, nothing like released or anything like that? No. You can like twist the sconce now, turn it left, right, like a gear shifter? You can't do any of that. I mean, there's a little play side to side, but you can push it up and it just falls right back down. Might be something else that released someplace else. Yeah, whatever it was attached to previously, it is now not attached to it. Look underneath the bed, see if there's anything. No, nothing under the bed. Hmm. I'm trying to go to something. Any other furniture in here? Just the bed, the chair, and the three little tables. And the two lamps. Oh, there is a bookcase. It has some books in it. Yeah. See if that, if that moves or anything behind it? Wall. Any uh, decent book in it? Absolutely. <laughs> It is a 10 cent volume on the plants and and animal life of Aird. I'm not sure if I want to carry out 10 books, so. It'd only be about 50 pounds. I'm already carrying a suit of armor and a shield over my shoulder. Okay. I, I mean, you know, your options. <laughs> Just, you know. 
do I think the books are worth anything, or are they just interesting reads? Well, I mean, they're books. Books are rare. They are good books. Uh, I mean, if you open one, it's a very detailed encyclopedia with illustrations of the plant or animal that it's it, it's talking about. So yes, they would have some value. Not thousands of, of silver pieces, but the set would, would 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 probably be worth a hundred to two hundred silver pieces, depending on who you got it in front of. Well, I guess I can load them up in an external sack and if I have to just drop them and leave them. Okay. Nothing else in here, and don't find no secret doors or anything. I guess head out. Okay. Hey, Doc, stop right there. Give me a uh, uh, spell saving throw. Eight plus whatever it's going to be. I don't think I make it. Okay. Unless it's uh, just regular spells. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, way off. Okay. So you are absolutely just frozen in your tracks. But in front of you, you can see the faint outline of what appear what looks to be a rather large cobra. Bobbin? Yeah. And where you're at, you can see Hadak just kind of rigidly standing there mid stride, like both feet are on the ground, but he's not moving. Everybody stay where you're at, and we're going to do initiative. So if someone can roll for the party, and we will move forward. And then Bobbin will give me a um, D20. Okay. So, Bobbin, you, from your vantage point, can see that there is some type of faint snake like thing standing up on its. Standing up pretty high in front of Haydak. Okay. And so, what would uh, what would you like to do? <clears throat> Is the rest of the party coming down? I can tell them what's going on. Well, they're no, not there yet. Okay. Well, I'll get my I'll get my bow out. And I'll move slightly over so I can get a better view of what's down there. Okay. You said it's a, a snake. Is that what you said it was? Yes. Okay. How how big? Um, fairly good size. <laughs> like could swallow yeah. a person whole, kind of big, good size. Yeah. Okay. Kind. But right. again, it's it's kind of strange because it's not. Um, it's not terribly visible. 
Okay. Okay, so Myrna, you're moving up. Galathon, what would you like to do? Galathon? I'm going to start making my way back uh, towards the beginning. Let's see if I can find Aaron. And... Okay. Okay. As a Which other party member, come on, just notify him over there's a big snake up here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Ted, what are you doing? Uh, where am I? Am I hearing them say something about snakes and stuff? Well, you may probably hear some not... commotion. You're probably not close enough to hear the actual details, but there's something going on. Okay. I'm gonna move forward. Okay. Bobbin? Yeah. You see that snake move up and it begins to coil itself around around Hadak. Okay. I'll take a couple couple shots at it. And hey, Dak, it is squeezing you for four points of damage. Let me go ahead and roll for attack. You can, but be aware that you can just as easily hit hey, Dak, as you could uh, the, the snake as it's wrapping itself about him. And it's kind of hard to see the snake anyway. Oh, okay. Um, might be better to go up with a sword then, I guess. Some more control over that. Okay. So, let's roll initiative. Uh, real quick, can I roll my uh, third level uh, hit dice? Yeah, go right ahead. That helps. Okay. And you get to roll it three times. Oh, I do? Yep. Oh, you roll three and take the best one? Yep. Ah. Okay, so there you get a six. So the um, and I, you take another five points as it constricts on you. And uh, now, Bobbin, what do you wish okay. to do? I'll use my sword instead and uh, attack the uh, phantom snake there. Okay, so move up to where you want to be. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because it's like a rounding. So give me your attack roll. And what level are you, Hadak? I'm second level fighter, third level cleric. Okay. So that is kind of the same ball of wax there. So that's a miss. Mm. And, or excuse me, Bobbin. Yeah. You're a ranger? Yep. And you're, are you, 
what level are you? Two. Two. Okay. Yep, that's a miss. And Myrna, what do you wish to do? I'm coming. I can be here. Or here. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm using my sword. It's that uh, sword from the wall. I don't know if he, it is plus one or magic or anything, but I'm using it. Okay. Uh... Excuse me. What? Sorry about that. Uh... Oh. Bro. Okay, you also miss. Okay. And... Elephant. Uh, oh. I use the long bow. Sorry. But uh, let's see. I think I'm it's pretty a miss. Yeah, I'm afraid it's a miss. I think so... I'm pretty far away, so I'm gonna try moving. Well Galathon, do you wanna move up? Oh you're moving away. Yeah, I had to uh right click glitch happen. Oh, okay. So what do you wish to do? Five. Um, I'm gonna step right here. Okay. And wait for one of these people to. You can attack. It's wrapped around him. Oh. Uh. Is there a part of the snake that I can attack without? Yeah, I mean you're gonna. It's you. You guys are more or less trying to cut into it. You're not. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you're doing what's appropriate here and not hacking away. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be careful not to strike my friend. Yeah, and I will attack the uh, big old snake with my longsword. Okay, that does damage him. Or you think it does? You feel like you bit into his non-existence. And it is Ted. What are you wanting to do? I see them. Uh... I'm still moving in, I guess. Uh, I don't see them. Oh, there they are. What do I see here? Well, you see them cutting away at a barely visible snake wrapped around Bobbin. And Bobbin's just kind of standing there, way? not moving. Do I see any way to get in there between them? Not really. Okay. I'll stand back out of the way and watch. Okay. I can't get into them. Yeah. It's initiative. Okay. This time it gets a real squeeze on you, Haydak, for 12 points. And so the three of you that are around it, you may take your attacks. Uh, I think I will move one. I If I move here... Uh, Sir Galadon can move where I, where I stand, and I still can attack the snake. Yes, you can. 
Okay, so that way uh, Ted may attack also mm. long sword. Is the gold thing at the bottom the snake? Yeah, that's its, its thing, but it's actually wrapped around him and it's 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 only barely visible. It's kind of ethereal or something? Yes. Okay, so that is a miss, Myrna. Okay. I know we hit that one. Galphon, you can attack whatever you want to. Remove whatever you You have a long sword, yeah. don't you? You have a long sword, don't you? Yes. You want to let me pass to get in front of you, and then you can attack over me. Mm. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna step in. I'm gonna attack with my long sword again. Okay. Good. And change your move up forward. to that open slot if you wish. No, I can't get in there. And that's a, that's a miss. And Ted, you can move up. Still too far away, though. No, it's wrapped around Bobbin. Which one's Bobbin? Not, not Bobbin Haydack. Or not Bobbin Haydack, right here. Oh, I thought it was that. That's that's it, but it's not really there. It's wrapped around Bobbin, constricting him. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay then. Uh... We're in the the second edition book. I can flip into the saving throws and tacos without even looking, but I don't have no idea where they are in the first edition book. They're in the mid seventies, seventy five and beyond. Okay, I still gotta look that up. I'm gonna take instead of taking my regular short sword, I'm gonna take out that new short sword I found on the skeleton. Okay. I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Roll. Hmm. I don't know how to do that on here. I'll just do this. Oh. Okay. That does. You are able to cut into it. Give me your damage drill. Is it large or medium? It's medium. Okay. And so all of you have attacked. And it is uh, additioning once again. Okay, we have nice. a cyber. So you guys can start yeah. making your rolls. Hey, Dak, you take another two points. Yeah. Okay, that hits. Myrna misses. Again. Elfon and Ted. Okay, that's another hit, Ted. Okay, and another hit, Galifon. So, 
with that, the creature dissipates. And Hadak, you come out of it. You're still a bit like hazy, but you can move now. And you can begin to catch your breath. And because of the nature of it, the fact that it was basically part of this was uh, not physical damage, but, but strangulation damage, you're going to get five of your hit points back just from being able to breathe again. We don't have a healer here, do we? It's never, ever going to remember that Haydak is is the guy. I'll go ahead and do first aid first on myself and then burn to uh, cure life. Okay, so you guys all get 100 experience points for this one. Ted, you didn't feel like there was any extra power to it, but when you pulled it out and saw the edge of the blade and the cutting into it, um, it was pretty dull. And it's a little rusty, so with some tender loving care, it would be a decent sword. It's, you know, it's a good sword, but it's just a pretty much standard sword. Okay. Didn't feel any kind of special magical. Nah, uh, I said the only thing you felt was, yeah, this thing's not cutting through this snake very easily. <laughs> Needs to be sharpened a bit. Okay, yeah. I'll cut it back in the cavern. Doesn't hurt to try uh, to try a few. Oh things, no, it but... doesn't. <laughs> but I still. But it had decent I'm balance looking... and everything. Yeah, you know. I looked in here in the 70s, and I still can't find the... the uh, 75 is the, is the hit table, and then the saving throws are beyond that. I'm on 75, what, and it's showing uh, spells. Okay, you're, you're, it's, no, it's in the DMG. It's not in the player's handbook. Oh, okay, because I don't know what they are. Yeah, you, I mean, with with one first edition, your party really wasn't supposed to know. They were just supposed to roll the dice and be told. Oh. I see. Over time, you can kind of get a feel for it. Or at least in a fight, you can get a feel for it. But uh, that's where it is oh. in the DMG. I have a PDF of the uh, one with the uh, demon statue on the front of it. Your saving throws, I'll give you real quickly. I'm going to drop them down and update your sheet. Um, oh, they stay the same at fourth level. They don't go up. Oh, I'm at third level. Oh, yeah, okay. they stay the same until fourth level, until fifth level. Okay. But your thief skills, that's in the player's handbook in the thief section. Yeah, I've already updated that. Yeah. And your to hit doesn't go up until fifth level as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a slow getting better for the for the thief. But you level quickly, so that's the that's the counter to it. Okay, so you guys want to do next? Walking around. Hey, Doc, are you able to? You feeling like you can go on? Go on. All right, you'll continue moving then. 
Were you going to give me those? <laughs> Where did this thing come from? It just appeared. He just went down that corridor, and there it was. Are we going back the other way? I think going down here. We were going down, weren't we? Oh. No. Go down. Wait a second there. Hey, Doc. Here? Hey, hey Doc. Yeah. You got in here. You find a uh, pile of rags in the corner. I use my sword to poke into it, move the rags around. It's just a pile of random clothing. There's pants, there's shirts, there's vests, there's hats. Um, like maybe like a minotaur was eating things and stripped the clothes off of it first. It was just chucking them in this corner. Is there any signs of like feeding, like bones and such in the area? Yeah, there's a little bit of that. And the clothes do have some blood on them. Search the area for any secret doors or whatever. And... Okay, don't give me a, a D6 roll for that. You do not <laughs> find any. Yeah, I'll head back. I can okay. row it also. Sure. Where you, go? you do not find any either. Okay. Okay. Is it back the way we came? I keep disappearing on me. <laughs> flying down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, they are. All the way back. <laughs> Oop, don't go that way. Ah, there we go. I bump into something in the hallway. Bam! Sorry. Oh, I have room. This is the way out, ain't it? Yep. Is everybody coming out? So just I am. And I'll catch everyone up with you. It's wanting to go out. Are we leaving? Are we leaving, Are we leaving the dungeon? A maze, at least. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Your dad, I got you. Okay. And now I know where I'm at. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are back at the entrance room with the remnants of your fights here. And what are you guys going to do? I want to leave. I'd like to see some sunlight. Did any of us ever go up? Only the clerk went up to the left. Did any of us go up to the left? Or should we bother? There are... There were... There, there were... Lots of corridors we didn't take when we... 
go to uh, right from for the code room. We left lots of room uh, corridors without wonder. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Randomly ran around. Do we want to bother going back to up up and to the left? No, that's up and to the right. We never got around through there. I think we should go. Anybody else? Yeah, I don't mind looking around some more. So the orcs came from the north, but we never went up to the north to see where they came from. any prisoners in some room also What's all that background noise, Jesse? What's that? What's all that background noise that this beat has? Oh, it's Noise coming through there. What's that? Yeah, you got some background noise. I got a fan blowing from oh, the okay. air. Yeah. I'm in Texas. It's 99 degrees outside. <clears throat> okay, it's down to 93. <laughs> Is that better? That's fine. Yeah, it's better. I mean, I had I had you on mute for a long time because of. But if you were going to be talking, I, I, I wanted, and I had to know what you were saying, I, I had to take it on mute. So I was like, what's all that? Oh, yeah, it's, it's 93 degrees outside. It's 9 o'clock at night, so i got to have the fan going. I got this one last, a week before last at uh, Walmart. It's, even on low, it's louder than most fans are at high. This is what I get for paying 20 bucks for it. Well, well how, what, what kind of air does it give off? Forget how loud it is. Does it give off good air? Right, so what kind of air does it give off? It's pretty good air. Okay. 
I got the I got two air conditioners. I got one right here next to me, which y'all were complaining about before, and I got one in the bedroom. So I have the one in the bedroom on, and it blowing the cold air in here. <laughs> okay. But I was asking for you earlier. Um, I wasn't sure you were here. I was lost in, uh, in, in, in the maze. That you, um, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to, how to find where you guys were. Oh, okay. My character shows you whenever he realizes where you are. He's like, look at my cute new shiny boots. Oh, nice. Boots of Elwin kind. I got this new sword, but I went ahead and tried it. It doesn't seem magical. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just a good sword, though. But I do have something else here I want you to look at. And, uh, where is it? Let's find my sheet. And I pull out the bag of, uh, with the, uh, ruby, uh, with the ruby and, uh, silver. Uh, yep. What was it? The necklace? And I I show him the necklace and say, do you, does that look like it's anything magical? Gee, I would have to cast that spell. That magic. Um, I, I think you can cast that spell, too. But, um, once we're leaving, leaving this dungeon, I'm not willing to cast it right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just leave it here with these, uh, this bag of silver, it's a uh, pretty treasure. I found it when you, you guys ran right by it. You guys should watch watch more closely. What are you guys doing next? Uh, are we going to try that me. corridor to the north, I guess? Okay. I'll lead, I'll lead the way. Where'd it go? Uh, it rolled too far over. Oh. Yeah. You guys still aren't ready to leave this place? Well, there was some area to the north that we didn't explore yet. All right, well, I'm going to stay here in the entryway. Let me let me know you guys are ready to leave. I, I, I'll just camp out here by the door. Ah, uh, so the bad guys come in and out. Good good idea. Watch watch the door. See if the bad guys show up. Well, I'm invisible, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bobbin, give me a D20 row. You can't seem to see the door. My character can't. Ooh, big number. Okay. Ted, give me a D20 roll. Okay, so Ted, you yes. think you hear noise, like voices Ooh. and clattering coming from this corridor. I turn back to them and quietly go, shh, and put my hand up for a stop. <laughs> and 
I'm going to look around the corner here. Just peek around okay. the corner. Okay. And you're able to do so, and you do not see you see an empty corridor. Okay. I'm going to try to stay close to the wall and hide as best I can while I walk down. Okay. Okay. So give me a hide in the shadows roll. like you, you're, you're sticking with the shadows of the wall. Okay, I'm going to continue down silently. Okay. And as you go further down the hallway, the, the, the volume of noise increases a little. There's definitely something up there talking. And it sounds like it's coming from this direction. Which direction? I'm going to step over to that corner. And I'm going to peek around that corner. Okay. Hey, Dak and Galathon, are you intending to stay back? You do not see anything other than corridor. I don't see anything but corridor? Yep. The noise is definitely coming from up here. There are any hidden doors? If you want to check, roll. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to go across. You do not and find any. Do I see anything oh, here? Oh, I thought there wasn't no corridors up. No, no, no secret doors. Do okay. I hear anything? So Ted, yeah, you can hear it. Sounds like orcs. <laughs> To up here. I'm going to peek around the corner here. And when you do, you can see a room with some flickering, what you would assume would be torch light, and orcs milling around in it, and they seem to be a little agitated and having an argument. Is that a 10-foot corridor to get to them? Yep, just about. And it's wide open? Yep. But they're only it's only lit by torchlight, right? In the room. I mean, they're a little, of course, spilling out into the hallway, but not much. Do I see them behind me? Yeah, you can see them behind you. I turn into them and put both hands up to stop. And clicking my feet, my thumb back around the corner there. Like. <laughs> then I start waving them back. Back here. I want to whisper to him, set up uh, right here behind this corner, and I'll lure him in here after you. 
want to ambush them? Sure. How many of them corner? are there anyways? What's that? How many of them are there anyways? I saw at least a half a dozen. Probably more. Yeah. All right. Let's so go. Where's the rest of the party? It's right the front door, waiting to leave. I think Aaron said he didn't want to come. Bobbin was apart from the snake, and the others, I don't know. I think we can take them, the three of us? Oh. Take a few of them. <laughs> I'm going to try he to lure said... a couple. Six or eight? Uh, at least six. They seem to be arguing over something. Uh, perhaps you can make a sneak attack? And give us uh, some room. I was thinking you two hide around this corner here, and I lure them down the corridor straight. And y'all ambush them from the side. Do that. Is there a place for you to, to get away if you need to? Uh, I'm sure I can get away. Okay. Is that a wall right behind, below us to the south? I think it's a right dead end. <laughs> yes. It does. Okay. So we can be here like this. No, over here, but around the corner. When you come around the corner, like you attack. A little bit back so they don't see you whenever they're approaching the corner. Like five feet back. Here. Okay. Over here. Where I'm at. Mm. Okay. Both of you up against this wall here that I'm up against. And that way when they come around the corner, you'll be right there to slam them on the side as they come around the corner. But just don't hit me. <laughs> we'll okay. try. No promises. <laughs> now I'm going to go in and see what I can do. Okay. Now, separated from them was my halfling sneakiness in my boots. I'm going to try to uh, sneak in there. Okay. I'm going to try to Give sneak me up a against the shadows. Water. What's your plan? What are you trying to do? You trying to get a backstab in? You just trying to get up there and No, not trying to get a backstab, just trying to recon. I wanna go across this wall and try to sneak and get a look at it to see what all's in the room. And I'm doing so very quietly and very slowly. Okay, give me a hide and shadow. Ooh, I rolled a six. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, crap. What is that there? What's that up on the northern end? It's a throne. Is there somebody in it? No. They're playing some type of uh, what you think is a dice game. Uh huh. Uh 
and they're they're and playing it against this wall, and there's a lot of silver laying around on the floor. Ooh. Okay. Change of plans. I'm going to sneak back out. Okay. Corner. Okay. Well, and I'm going to tell y'all, whisper to y'all, change of plans. There's ten of them. But they're Ooh. next to us. Do we want to go in now and attack them? They're playing a game. They're distracted. Well, we can shoot them with arrows from a distance and then run towards the front door where everybody else is. Well, we could get some shots in from right there in, that co in the corridor. Yeah. I don't know if we can kill anybody. Y'all want to do that, and then y'all run for the corridor? Yeah, but okay. again, pop some kind of front door here. Well, can, can they actually see us from uh, from that uh, entry point? They all have their backs towards us, right? They can, uh, they, they're playing some kind of game up against the other. I mean, they the can wall. see you, whether they will, that's the, yeah. that's the, the, the tricky part. They okay. could see you, but they're they're distracted. They're playing some game against the opposite wall. Now you're talking to a hobbit in boots of elven time, who can hide and can can disappear into shadows very well, and he didn't have any problems. But what that translates into for you a couple two, of no. rangers, not in boots of elven time. Um, in a uh, building environment, not a woods environment, you still have a chance to move up silently and kind of blend in a bit, but not nearly what you would have if this was in a forest. All right. Alternatively, we could one of us can run back to get the rest of the group, and we can ambush them from behind as a whole group. Yeah, let's see if everyone agrees with this plan. You want to go back and check with them? Yes. We'll stay. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to stay right here in this corner and hide. And you can go okay. and he can stay with me. And you just come back and let me know. Hey, everyone. I'll keep a watch we out here. We found a room nearby, uh, really nearby, uh, and there is 10 orcs playing a game, but we have someone injured. Do you want to clear their room? and make our way home easier. You said there's 10 orcs? Yes. Okay. Um... I, mean, I could I could cast sleep, and if any of them survive, um, perhaps we could um, take out the rest of those. Depending upon how many sleep takes out, the advantage I have is that I'm invisible too, though, so I could actually get up close enough to cast it on the bulk of them and see what happens. It sounds a good plan, Sir Gallagher. You can help us. Wake Gal up. Gal, wake up. <laughs> hey, Dak, are you still with us? All right. 
combat's still going. But Gal's not that quiet, so let me get to the front to cast the sleep spell. Then you guys can can, can storm out and take out the rest. I think. Yeah, we're, we're in. Sleep. We're in the room with all the dead goblins, right? Yeah. Yeah, they found another room where there's some orcs dicing. Okay. Well, actually, there's dead orcs in here as well. You yeah. Have some goblins okay. and some orcs in this room. That's right. All right, so. They I'm. Another corridor or some kind of thing. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to gather my bearings and see where everyone else is at. So, DM, where, what do I find where everyone else is at? Well, I mean, Haydak is here. Uh, Myrna is somewhere in the room. It's kind of yeah. difficult to see among all these bodies. Yeah, there's Myrna right there beside you. Aaron's okay. invisible, so you can't really... But he's talking from somewhere over in this area. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I thought there was a living orc or something no no they found another another room full of orcs and they're dicing oh. and um they want to kill the orcs and so what i yeah. was thinking was since i'm invisible i could go into that room cast a sleep spell uh, hopefully take out a few of them and then you guys can deal with the rest <laughs> sounds pretty good Okay. So Myrna, if Myrna will lead me back that way. Yes, I can lead you. Everyone. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, sorry. Uh. Is Gala there? Okay. What? Now, Myrna, be oh, aware Myrna. that you're. Your torchlight, if you go too far up the other corridor, is going to show. Yeah. They might notice that. That's uh, something to be careful about. You can either drop the torch at a point yes. further back, or, uh, you know. Can I do it? Not so much in here, but when you get into this next corridor. Okay. Right now it's shining down in this corridor. Unless they come out to the end of the other corridor, they aren't going to be able to see it. I can't leave it it's here, the torch. You don't have to leave it that far back. When you get up into this corridor, that's where you've got to watch it. Okay. Uh, so I will leave it here. Okay. Very good. So. Where's Ted? Uh, he's here. Oh, now he's somewhere behind me. And the entrance is here? Uh, yeah. Coming this way. And again, Haydak, do you want to leave that thing shining? No, I'll, 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 I'll let it go down because yeah, there should yeah. be a light or something somewhere. I figured I just... Yes. Okay. Okay. And so, yeah, they're just. They're not in a fight or anything, but they're just up there going about the business of playing die, playing basically craps and arguing about it. So they're close to fighting at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> if I've seen any dice games. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's we'll throw your spell. Send the sleep there. And.
everything went quiet again. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm putting Mark, the spell into play. Mark is keeping the orcs. Okay. So, Aaron, you do that. And I, be I become visible. Yep, you become visible. And, and let, it, let us roll initiative. This is a prize roll for you guys. So, uh, a one or two is good is extra good for you guys and uh you will move first regardless of the row okay so you guys get to go first uh and you're gonna get in one attack and then this initiative round is gonna take place okay so everybody can move in or shoot whatever it is your 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 preference is. The ones with purple dots went down. The ones without purple dots are standing and slowly realizing that something's wrong. Okay. I'm gonna use my and bow and here. You will be able to get a backstab in if you get to one of these guys. Can I, I can't, well, you can jump to the closest one. Can I get to this one? Yes. Right here? Okay. I'll attempt to backstab on him then. Okay. Galathon, are you coming with us? Uh, yeah, so now... I'll move you over there to where it's at and you can All right. place yourself. Sweet. I don't think even with bonuses that's going to do anything. Uh... So the ones without purple dots are still standing. Yes. So this is an enemy right here. Yeah. Oh, All right, Ted, you are correct. That would be that would be a miss for you. So I stand up and attack the closest one, which is this. He disappeared. That was me. That's not an enemy. <laughs> yeah, you were about to attack Bobby. <laughs> I'm, I'm on okay. your side. I promise. I am using my regular sword, not the new, not the one I found. Paydax on one, and the other ones are further into the room. Um, attacking this one with okay. my long bow and one All right. and two. Okay, and so roll. Uh, oh, excuse me, you already got that. So that that one is a crit for nine points and five, and Myrna. Puts one arrow in his shoulder and the second right through his throat. And down he goes. Wonderful. Like, he turns around when the first one hits him and the second one catches him right in the, uh, right in the, the voice box. <laughs> it's all over. Uh, Is his name Kennedy? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll wait for everybody to attack. I'll pick off anybody who's still standing. Okay. So, hey, that. Ouch. Okay. That is a uh, miss. Is this an orc? Yeah, that is a north, and you can get to him. All right, I'm going to attack him. I attack that him a is lot. Yeah, that wasn't a work. 
And down he goes. Okay. And now it's you guys. Oh, I want to throw. Turn. Oh, I wanna, go ahead. I want. I, I want to throw Darsh at this one if, if I can. Okay. AC zero for three. That hits. AC zero. For that two. hits. AC eight probably misses. Yeah. I was starting to wonder if that Mecca was broken. I was like, man, are you going to keep hitting zeros? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you got some damage in on that guy. And, uh, okay, so. Who's left? Who's, who's, who's going to do uh, ranged weapons? This this round. I am but right now. Like we've got two, this two one. Yeah, yeah, him. And this one still standing. Okay. I'll take the guy in the far side of the room. Get my sheet up here real quick. I'm gonna throw more darts at the, at the guy hit before. Absolutely. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, crit failure. That's a one. One shot. Do I lose my other two darts? What happens with that crit? That um crit that, uh, fumble? Give me a give me a D twenty run. Okay. Oh, that's a second shot. Oh, that one okay. So yeah, you just made a bad throw. Okay, you missed my, him. My, my other two Yeah, you get your or... other two. Yeah. AC five for one. And a failure, a miss. Gosh. Okay, so one of those plucked him. And then Bob and both of yours missed. Yeah. Myrna, did you want to shoot? Yeah, they go. Yeah, that's miss. And that's a miss. <laughs> and so hey Dak. Hell yeah. There you go. And that takes care of that one. And uh, Galathon, do you wish to go across, charge across and get to that last work? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And that's yes. And Swings and misses at you, and it's initiative. Go ahead, Gal. You're the one right up there on him. Okay. Okay. So he swings and misses again. So, Galathon, it's your turn. And that's a miss. Swing and a miss. Hey, that, do you want to move up? I want to flip this guy's throat. Okay. And you can get an attack then, hey, Dad. That hits. Nice minimum damage. And he has, to have work. Yeah, but he already had some damage on him, so down he goes. <laughs> so you guys can cut the rest of the throats. All right. Um, there is a pile of 67 silver pieces kind of scattered around in front of these guys where they were, and some of it kind of in a single pot. 
that was being gambled over. Um, <laughs> that throne is kind of an orc thing, you know? It's like they found a chair and then they tied bones to it and mounted a skull on the back of it. I mean, it's it's not really made of bones, but they tried to make it look like it was made of bones or something. It's sort of ragtag. Throne of bones. So besides the sixty-seven silver on the floor, did they have anything anything on their bodies left? Everybody had put their money out. No, no one had any left in their pouch. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well, all these guys are dead. I guess we can actually leave the place now. Secret doors. Oh, I, I forgot I have my okay. thing off. Anybody that wants to check for secret doors, give me a D6 roll. I'm specifically uh, want, also wanting to search around the and underneath the uh, throne. Okay. See if there's anything like it's setting on top of a trap door or anything. Okay. Well, Myrna's an L on, I have L. So, Myrna and Haydak, you guys over here around the sconce you can tell that that torch that sconce is kind of like that one that was in the other room that you were able to bend down but it broke but this one has oil on it like someone oiled it I don't want to hold your attention to it. Repeat the process I did in the other place. Okay. okay. This, this time, time we will pull it down. It comes down and clicks. And then a stone wall slides back. Oh, I don't have an opening there. Okay. So the, the stone wall slides back here. And it reveals a room in here. So I'm just gonna it's it's like a twenty by twenty room. It's square. And inside of it there are three chests. Any um draft? Hint hint. I don't I mean, know. In, you guys want to? You guys want to look at them? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe a silver. Dad, can you help us? Send our guy in there with the, uh, you know, that pay attention to detail. Okay. So, Mister Attention to Detail, are you gonna go in there and uh, look over these chests? I just rolled. Okay, which one are you looking at first? Oh, uh, one on the right, one on the left, one in the middle. One on the left. Um, we're not seeing the. I, I'm not seeing the chest of or the room. Okay. But... You find no, no trap. No trap it's locked, one. but there's no trap. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to unlock it. Okay. No. Oh, you can't get it unlocked. And in fact, while you're trying to unlock it, a needle comes out and pricks you on the finger that you were you were were picking it with. And I need you to give me a uh, save versus poison. Save versus poison. Oh, 
roll a d20 and I will let you know. What's your constitution, too? Well, it's 11. Of course, he's a half oh. I know. <laughs> but just 11 in constitution. Oh, God. Okay. We're going to need a new rogue. Uh, low was good. And this you thing, this thing low. jabs you in the finger, and it's painful, and your finger swells up. So you take five points of damage from it. Oh, okay. And you're 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 kind of limited with that finger right now, and that's oh. probably your index finger or your middle finger one. Let's just call it the. We'll say the middle finger to help you out a little bit, but it's. Uh, Gonna make your 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 life a little more difficult, or your cat your skills a little more difficult to uh, utilize, Either. right? Now. Where on these sheets are you supposed to put your damage? Oh, okay. I got it now. Wow, that's the first time you've taken damage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a stupid trap because a stupid uh, roll rolled bad. Okay. I'm going to try to check the, the other two. Okay. Uh, the middle one, I'm going to check for traps. Knowing what to look for now. I don't know if that'll give me a bonus. Okay. Fell by 27. And then the third one. Okay. Fell by you 15. Did not find any traps on either one. Yeah, but I didn't. I believe that on the first one, too. <laughs> uh, you still can't find any. On the first one, where... Huh? You what? I said, but you still you still didn't find any, so. Can I tell from the first one what that the, that particular kind of trap where the needle yeah, came, it came out, out, of? out of the lock when you were trying to unlock it? Okay. We can smash those chests. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Anyone I has uh, X? I'm going to reach into that uh, new backpack that I got from the skeleton. I'm going to pull out that pry bar. Okay. And I'm going to pry the lids open from slightly back. Okay, which one are you doing first? One with the, the one that, uh, that poked me. Oh, okay. You're going to start with it first. Okay. So give me a uh, D20 row. You can't do it. Uh, you can get it in there, you but you handy. just don't have the weight and strength to pop that baby open. I'm saying, fighter, can you give me a hand here? Okay, so Haydak steps forward and he gets it in there and, and pops that map right open. And, uh, that lid flies open, Percentile and there. inside you see a pile of silver. The first has anything. The first with the needle one. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then I need, who's going to open, which one are you opening next, and who's doing it? Uh, oh, ask the man. fighter to do, do the same to the other two. 
Okay. We need a D20 for it. <laughs> okay, so boom, that pops it open. And when it pops open, this cloud of yellow gas comes out into the room and I need everybody that's over in that area to give me first a uh, d20 roll. Which uh, which area? Yes. That that would have been in there watching them open the open the, the, the locks in the room. Okay, yeah, because I'm not sure. Did we leave out of the uh... out. I think Ted's in there. And Rich was definitely in there because he did. I know I'm not. I, okay. When you started messing with the door, I, I went out the other door. I know you did. <laughs> Noted that. Okay. So what happens is, the, hey, Dak, when you pop that, you you catch a whiff of it, and it's a strong odor of, of, of mustard, and you bolt for the door. And, Ted, you just kind of go, why do you, and start coughing. And give me another uh, con save, or another save versus poison. Oh, this is not your, not your day to save versus poison. No, it doesn't want to give me anything more than little digits. <laughs> Combined. These damn dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're able to come out of it, but it's you are coughing, and you're gonna be like down two hit points for a while because you're coughing. So. You guys wait a while, and the, the it finally disappoint, dissipates to the point where you wouldn't think you couldn't go back in there. You guys can go back in there and see what's in that chest. Yeah, was I it kind of figured out? out yeah. I suggest we take the third chest out unopened. And we open it on the outside. Okay. So, in this chest, which is kind of the largest of the three, um, there is a rather elaborate purple hat with a big feather. And then... There's a small chest underneath that hat. And inside of it, there is a bottle. And that bottle is laying down. It's capped. It's got a, a slightly yellowish liquid in it. And it has written in a very, very fine cursive script three lines of text that none of you can read. They're looking at it, those people in the room. Hmm. The hat is fairly, uh, fairly elaborate. It's got a big brim. One side of it is pinned up to the crown of the hat, and this large feather is there under that pin, kind of flowing back. It's like a big peacock feather type of thing, and. Uh, Looks rather sharp. 
Magic. Well, I guess I'll wait for that till the third chest. We are ahead now, right? After this. Well, that's up to you guys. Is that your is that your plan? Nah, that's what I was asking the rest of the group. So if no should go ahead and burn the spell or now or not. There is still one chest that is not open, isn't it? Oh well, hold on. All right, wham, pry, pop. Okay. It's open now. Okay. When you do a bright flash of blue light, flares up and there's a bit of a pop, and you feel that energy burn into you for four points, hey, Dak. <laughs> And that's it. When it's done, what do I see in that one? You see... You don't see anything. You die. <laughs> yeah, I'm blind. Flash blind. <laughs> there is a suit of chain mail mm -hmm. folded into this chest. Now I'll go ahead and cast Detect Magic and scan over everything. Okay. Um. Dad, I suggest you drink this yellow drink. Okay. So, if it's a poison, yeah. perhaps neutralize the, the poison your uh, red take. Or you okay. do nothing at all. Okay, so the, or it's the a poison bottle will kill me. The, the the potion, it is a potion. It does come back magical. The hat is wrongly magical. And uh, that would be the only thing that, in, I mean, obviously, if you did his boots, they're magic. Uh, if he wants to show you that necklace and you do it, it's not magic. Um. That's not magical. Yeah, the chainmail is not magical. Nothing under the chainmail? Well, when you pick up the chainmail, it's one of these things you pull it out and you're like kind of lifting it up and down and, and just feeling it. I mean, it is exquisitely made chain, and it's light. Elden. It's not as light as, say, I mean, it still has some heft to it, but it's the difference between 30 pounds and 20 pounds. So, yeah, it is elven chain. It is not magical, but it would uh, only have the weight of, like, leather armor. Um, and it can, and it would not affect stealth rolls, and it is roughly human size. Um, and I would say that Hey, Dak, you feel like you could wear it. Um, but underneath it, there is about a hundred or so silver pieces. Okay, so I'll pull all that out of that room into the big room and Save the counting for the literate. Okay. So when you guys count all this up, um, and going back to if you're gonna count up what what you found in those in or what you found in that uh, larger pouch under the stone ted, um that is like 
568 silver pieces. That's 568? Yeah. The chest with the needle trap had 1,958 silver pieces in it. And then this one had a fur, the, the one underneath the uh... Oh, wait a second. There is some more silver in there, too. It had 111 silver pieces under the under the armor. And under the hat, there also was another 1,086 silver pieces. How many was in the barrel? First barrel? No. The barrel didn't have anything in it, or the cask? No, the barrel, the one that, uh, that poisoned me. The chest. The yeah. chest that, that yeah. got you? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no, the one that was at the poison gas. That was the one that, that poked me. How many? 1,000 something? That one had 1,958 silver pieces in it. Okay. So it had 1,600? So you got, you got 568. 1,086, 1,958, 111. And the 6 or 7 in the room 12. Yeah, that 67... Um, Aaron, do you have any desire to look at that potion? No, I don't have identify. Okay. You mean the writing on 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 the thing? Yeah. Yeah, I'll read the writing. <laughs> I'm not going to okay. the potion. When you look at the potion, when you look at the bottle, that script says giant strength. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't One know. dose, and then it is signed Chris Agrim. And that's the mage that owned this place? Yeah. I see. It looks like it's a potion of some kind of giant strength. What kind of giant? He doesn't say. One dose. Mm. I would save that for an emergency. Yeah. Okay. So there are no openings in this room other than the one you came in through. Uh, and you guys want to go out and go back to your campground? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. So, so we will do that. And this will be another day elapsed probably late afternoon by the time you come out after everything you guys have been done doing down here. Um, um, There's seven so can you guys get 350 experience points? that room and uh, we will deal with the night and the healing um, next week I am uh, going to be seeing Cheryl Crow so we will not be playing oh. or at least I won't be playing you guys oh oh Tell her I said, hey. <laughs> I sure will. Now, my calculations are where there's seven of us here, right? Six. Uh, six. Veda's here, but she's not She's not ready yet. She's still oh, okay. putting her character sheet together. Times seven. That I divided by six. Uh, 600. And it gives... 
six six three one six three one comma six for everyone so i six hundred six hundred one how much six two one and this is gold silver 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 for everyone Everybody's got about a pound and a quarter of silver out of all of those. All right. And three went into the fruit kitty. Yeah. Okay. And yes, I did include the six that was with the garnet, too. Okay. I tossed those in there. Okay, any questions? No. Okay. Well, we will do the do the, the ensuing night when we get together in two weeks. Uh, buddy, uh, hope you enjoy the week off, and we will... Uh, I came in last week and said, and re remembered that, oh, we're taking the week off, aren't we? This is... <laughs> <laughs> Where is everybody? Oh, okay. They're not coming. I need I another week. 25. It was in the Discord. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for the game. I enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you. I kind of got turned not, around. Like, I, I kept banging my head against the wall. I was like, I can't move. Like It was like three squares. <laughs> like, I was like, I should have fallen behind, I guess. I knew we needed to go up in that corner. <laughs>